Any injury updates, coach, on the players that are missing? No, no, still everybody's out. They'll be out again tomorrow. Nothing from today, Nico's okay? Yeah. Uh, it was pretty solid back and forth there for the first five minutes, almost no stoppages in play. No whistles, you guys go down, what, nothing. Is it starting to feel like you guys are always playing from behind to get things rolling? Well, yeah, obviously, you know, we, I don't know how many times, it's probably the seventh, like you would say, we let the first shot in this year. And that's not Downey's fault, that one there. It was some bad defensive zone coverage. But again, we come out of the first fine. I thought we picked it up, got back in the game, but then, you know, we lay an egg in the second. That was, that was probably the worst period of hockey we played this year. Do you think that, that long stoppage you play had anything to do with it? Because it seemed like you guys were, the game was tight, and then you had that long stoppage you play, and then kind of the wheels just fell off there. I think it was before that, to be honest with you. We just, uh, for whatever reason, it was, it, and it wasn't just one guy. It was, I didn't even know who to get mad at or, or help, try and help, because it was everybody. Everybody started cheating offensively. We got caught behind. They had five guys breaking out ahead of three guys low. It, it was, it was somewhere enough to look at again, but that second period was, was unacceptable here. How beneficial do you think it is that you guys are going through so much adversity right now at the beginning of the season? When you guys are all healthy and everything's clicking, for these guys to go through what they're going through now, from going from losing to making these miraculous comebacks so many games in a row, what do you think the, the, the capacity and the, the, the future of this team, your team has, and what kind of, you know, what do you think these guys are capable of? Um, well, I mean, we, we, we've made a, a statement and uh, our identity that we don't quit. But again, we have to find a way to put 60 minutes together. We can't play 40 minutes a night and we can't think against teams we're going to make comebacks every night. I said the last time we made a comeback that we're not going to be able to do this every night. And it seemed like tonight we got ourselves in that hole again and the guys you know, kept trying. But again, we don't quit. But again, we gotta, we got to figure out a way to play 60 minutes. Just to, it's tough. It's tough on everybody. and. It, it, it's not a lot of fun. We had a good talk after the game, and uh, we're going to try and you know fix the issues right now and as best we can, and and get ready. The good thing is we have to bounce back against the same team tomorrow night. What did you think of the Euro team's performance tonight? I mean, I thought we had moments where we showed how good we can be, and then I thought we had moments where shows why we have the record that we do. Um, I think we need to play a full 60 and we can't have guys taking nights off, uh, myself included. Uh, we need to play a full 60 minutes and, and we got to buy in. We really need to buy in if, if we want to be a playoff and championship team and I think that's the thing that's, that's going to make us start winning games is that buy in from everyone every single night. So, What positives did you take from tonight? I mean obviously the adversity and character we showed in the third period, we've done that a few times now. Uh, I watched it in Flynn, it was, it was amazing and uh, not getting down on ourselves but um, shows a lot of character but it's not enough. We, we can't keep doing this. We need to play full 60. I thought we had a good first but that second we just kind of fell apart. We were selfish and, and we didn't play the right way and it costed us. And then, Yeah, we, we showed some great things in the third. We showed how good we can be but we, we got to bring that all three periods. What do you think happened there in the second period? Uh, I don't know. We just lost our mental focus. I think uh, they're a good team. They're a good young team. I think you got You can't in this league. You can't let go. I feel like that's been a lot of uh, the recent work. Is uh, we haven't been working. We had lost. I think we lost every single battle in the second period. Uh, we didn't have many chances. Four, but uh, we gave up a lot of gains. So I think we just let our foot off the gas, and it's, we can't do that in this league. So. What do you attribute that to? Like, what were you guys? aware of it on the bench and kind of like pushing each other to do better during that second or to just lull away? Yeah, I think obviously we knew we needed to be better, but um, like I said, it's just it just kept building and building. Every guy wasn't working hard. Um, I think, you know, it's the OHL, it's not minor hockey anymore. We got to be a lot better than that and I think we know it and I think we're going to watch a video, especially that second period because in the first and the third, we, we dominated, right? We, we had a lot more chances than them. so. It's, it's been a habit and it's been a constant theme it seems like in the second period we let teams back in it or let them go ahead so it's got it's got to stop right now for sure. You guys come up soaring back in the third after you know that second period. What does it feel like? like what, what, what? 
to have, for this to happen so many times, and, I mean, you guys were only a puck bounce away from tying this game up. Like, to be to know that you guys are capable of having that kind of en energy and dominating teams like that, what, what do you think the future of this team looks like? If you guys can play 60 minutes with that kind of energy, how dominating can you guys be? Oh, I, th I think we know we, how we play. We, like, we won 7 nothing in Flint, and that was probably our best game of the year. We played pretty much a full 60 minutes, maybe not a full 60, but 50 to 55 minutes. I think we know we can dominate teams. We've proven it in periods, I think, but it's just, it's the mental part of the game. It's, it's a 60 minute long game, right? It's, it's, like I said, it's a common theme the second period we can't, but like, like to touch on your point, I mean, we got a lot of good players in our room and we should be able to play full 60 minutes and not give up breakdowns every couple minutes, in the second, especially in the second period. So we just got to bear down and, I mean, uh, it's tough because it seems like it's just a common theme right now. But we got to nip it in the bud right now, especially because I think we got, we play 18 games, so we got a lot of games left, but it's just got to stop right now.